promise. New, good news story. Imagine you find something. You say, you're thinking, well, some people say, oh, I'll take a home, finders, keepers, weepers, losers. You find something, maybe a credit card, some money, or some tools, or something invaluable. Say you, you return it to the store, to the cops. You're trying to do the good deed, do the righteous act. You know, you just say, I'm a good civilian because I'm not going to steal it. Let's say, imagine you're trying to return something, but then you, you're accused of stealing it. Well, we got a new story right here called Black Woman Arrested for Good Deed. Woman who tried to return a credit card gets accused of theft. Let's get to it, shall we? Black woman decides to be a good Samaritan because yep. she's a good person. She sees a credit card, returns it, tries to get it back to the owner, does the right thing, and ends up being arrested and her life turned upside down. Unbelievable. This is out of Detroit. Let's Another Detroit to case. Full mass. Right there. Unbelievable story. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. A Detroit Good Samaritan tried to return a credit card to his rightful owner, but was arrested instead. On June 16th, the lady you're looking at, her name is Sandra Wilson. Sandra Wilson. Miss Wilson walked to the gas station across from her home, as she has done many times before. While checking out the uh, while checking out her merchandise, her items, she noticed a credit card was left on the counter. Tried to return it to its rightful owner. Surveillance still shows Miss Wilson in the blue dress. The woman with the long hair, the true owner, is is seen leaving, but walks back in. Another woman with the pink pants steps away, and the card owner talks to the clerk and leaves her card on the counter out of the view of Miss Wilson. Hmm. After the lady in the pink leaves, Miss Wilson notices the card and walks out to ask the woman in pink, hey, did you leave your card? She replied, yes. Miss Wilson retrieves the card and gives it to her. <laughs> simple, right? Yeah, simple as that. Nope. You think? Simple as that, right? Wrong. Not so fast. There's more. Miss Wilson went on with her life. Okay? She started receiving calls, however, from family members saying that she was wanted by the police. What? The Detroit Police Department 7 Precinct, to be exact. There's a post they put up saying, hey, this woman is wanted by us for credit card fraud. Look at that. They put the woman online. They blast her online. Can we not stop? Ms. Wilson went to the precinct. Trying to clear her name because she did nothing illegal. She believes the police may have just made a good faith mistake. This is decent people. Let me go clear this up. Yeah. But That's instead, funny. she went there to clear it up. She was arrested. Called a liar because she claimed she gave the card back to the clerk. The police did not provide the surveillance video for Ms. Wilson. To play out the scene for them. Okay? Steals of Miss Wilson being interrogated. She said, and I quote, I don't know what you all want me to tell y'all. I just walked in the gas station and you no, all took a picture took me a picture of me and ruined my life. End quote. Miss Wilson asked for an attorney three times. Yet they continue to interrogate her. I got enough law school under my belt to know that is completely illegal. The officer seen here tells her, I can, I can tell you you're lying. lying. We know for we a fact you're lying. lying. We know. We know. And she said, no, you this don't know back. for a fact. Because no, I am not lying. For a fact, because I'm not lying. Ms. Wilson spent three days in jail. Unbelievable. Faced two felonies. Two felonies. Sent her to, year, uh, to four years in prison. Reputation has been damaged, life upside down, felony charges still on her record. Four months later, a judge looks at this case. Let's put him up. Let's judge see the judge. You want to see the judge? Uh, Chusick of Wayne County, third district court judge. He saw the video. He just looked at the damn video. That's all he did. He looked at the video and dismissed the case. Right before Damn, it bam, went to that's a judge right there. Dismiss. We're going to prosecute this woman. And all the judge had to do was hit play. 
think about the lack of value a person has yeah. for another individual when they're not willing to just hit a button. I said, well, let me see. Let me check it out. All right, okay. okay. I, I don't believe you, but just in case, let me hit play. They didn't even do that for him. The judge did. Uh, this is unbelievable to me, the judge says. No trier of fact, even in the light of even in the uh, light most favorable to the prosecution could ever think that miss wilson is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt absurd and ridiculous and wrong and this was not a thorough investigation not at all in quote from the judge good for you judge now good i need you judge. to sanction the attorney who was going to bring this before you chief of police james e white and commanding officer john civic of the seventh district and keep in mind, we have shown this guy's picture three times in the last week. Although Wilson's case was dismissed and charges were dropped, her image is still floating around online, labeling her as a credit, credit card thief. She hasn't been able to find a new job and was evicted from her own apartment. They embarrassed me, humiliated me. I have 49 applications. I can't get a job, she said. That's, That's unfair. unfair. And let me say unfair. this for everyone, for everyone watching. Yes. The charges were dropped. But when there's a question that says, have you ever been charged or convicted of a felony? She has to say yes. But black people, in particular, when you say you have been charged with a felony, you might as well have been convicted. Might as well. All right, Jessica Thoughts here. Yeah, it's very clear these people have a predisposition to look for crime. And when you think about during the, the Halloween season, when they talk about drug dealers putting fentanyl in the candy and stuff, uh, it's ridiculous because if you're a drug dealer, you're in that business to make money. We've talked about this on TYT before. If you are someone who is committing credit card theft, you're not going to go into a store or go to right. a police station and try and return it. I mean, let's be very real. Uh, they're trying to frame people for crimes because they have a predisposition to look for crimes in the black community. So well said, predisposition to look for crimes and they have the innate bias that couples together that really victimizes. Yeah, and it's the thing, you know, it's sometimes, you know, when they can't, well, it's like when, they, when the cops can't go out there and bust a crime, they don't have enough crimes to go out there and have a call. They're going to go out there and find one. They're saying, we're going to pin on this person. We're going to pin on this lady right here. Because we can. Because we're the cops out there. Didn't you get charged or trumped up on you like that? Even though they get dismissed, but still, it's on your record. That's how fucked up it is. Anyways, I'm going to name my job. Peace out.